Christmas and welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. The colors of the season are everywhere, but you ain't seen red and green until you've seen a greenhouse filled with 150,000 poinsettias. We'll visit this Cherokee County farm a little later today. Every November, nearly 100 high school students attend the Alabama Farmers Federation's Youth Leadership Conference. But this year's event included a special project. Later in the show, we'll tell you where these wooden toys ended up. And I'm Stacy Little. Today in the kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to turn plain canned cinnamon rolls into something worthy of company. Y'all stay tuned. It's Christmas Eve, one of the most exciting days of the year. The anticipation of Christmas Day so near is a feeling like no other. But like all good things, this Christmas will eventually come to an end. Well, according to the folks at Robert Moore and Company Christmas Town, it doesn't necessarily have to. That store has been part of the Mobile community for nearly 50 years, and they're known for celebrating the most wonderful time of year all year long. As Melissa Bowman tells us, even during the heat of a southern summer, you can step into a magical winter wonderland. Meet Noelle. She loves Christmas. That's why she's the official greeter at Mobile, Alabama's Robert Moore and Company Christmas Town. I don't know what I'd do without her, but she's here in the store. She loves people. She loves kids. She loves adults. She's great with kids. Noelle and her owner, Larry Hurd, are on Santa's nice list. He approves of the work they do at this one-of-a-kind store that feels like Santa's southern headquarters. I cannot tell you how many people who have walked through the front door and go, wow, we have 19,000 square feet that we have kind of showing, showcasing stuff and all of that. So it's a lot of fun and it's amazing the adults that come in the door and immediately turn into a child. How could you not? There's over one million ornaments to see. Santa's everywhere. Beautiful nativity sets, Christmas villages, and everything from nostalgic toys to modern holiday decor. It's a treat for visitors, but does it ever get old to Larry? Tired of Christmas? Never. My tree stays up year-round. My Christmas tree in my house stays up year-round, and it's usually on most every night. That's why Larry is the perfect person to run a store where you never have to wait on Christmas to come around. Christmas is such a magical time that you wish it could last all year, and here it does. So whether it's St. Patrick's Day, or the 4th of July, or even Halloween, here it's always Christmas. When you come even in July, it really, walking in the store makes you just feel wonderful. You smile, you think, oh my goodness, it's Christmas is coming and I need to start getting ready for it. The spirit of Christmas is alive year-round here, too. Mary Minto is among many who say customers are treated like family. That has made the 48-year-old store so beloved that when Larry and store founder Robert Moore, who has sadly passed away, decided to retire in 2014, the community just wouldn't have it. I can't talk about it. It's just, it, it really is that emotional to me. When you've got 4,000 people contacting you, I mean, these are individuals, not families. These are individuals that have contacted me that have families, that all have said the same thing. They did not want us to go. Um, that's extraordinary. That outpouring of support is why the store is still going strong. And Larry sees a bright future ahead because of people like his general manager, Carolina Devaney. Fortunately, I have a great staff. Carolina's been with me forever, and uh, now she's one of my partners in the business. So she, upon my death, will inherit the business and then hopefully continue it on down the road so we can get another 50 years in or so. Over the years, the store's inventory has expanded to include other holidays like Easter and Halloween. But Christmas will always be the star of the show. For Larry, it's about spreading cheer all year long. That is the biggest gift to me. Having people come to the store that have never been here and walk out going, Wow, what an experience. Even if they don't buy anything, if they enjoy themselves, because I want them to feel welcome. I want them to feel wanted. I want them to feel the joy that we all have celebrating Christmas. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. For Simply Southern, I'm Melissa Bowman. 
Christmas means more than retail to the folks at Robert Moore & Company Christmas Town. They try to live out the true meaning of Christmas by supporting a number of charities, which is just another reason they are so beloved by the community. While the store is an important part of Mobile, its customer base extends much farther. People from all over the world visit. If you'd like to plan a trip, you can find out all about Christmas Town, including their operating hours, at robertmorechristmastown.com. When Simply Southern continues, find out how 96 high school students have helped make the season bright for their peers. If you're involved in agritourism, Alpha offers the insurance coverage you've been looking for. On-farm activities typically require additional coverage above the standard commercial business or farm owner coverage. Pumpkin patches, wedding venues, Christmas tree farms, farmers markets, and even you pick farms are just a few examples of things that could be covered. Contact your Alpha agent to learn more. These Alpha insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. No matter the herd you tend to, or the type of seeds you sow, Farm Bureau Bank understands the lifestyle and financial needs of our neighbors. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. Whether it's personal or business, we are committed to serving you and your financial needs. Please give us a call and we'll get started today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. When you look around for information and answers to your everyday questions, how do you know who to trust? Alabama Extension takes Auburn and Alabama A&M universities to the people. As educators, we are trusted partners in every county, providing valuable and practical ways to better our homes, farms, health, and communities. Our research extends knowledge and improves lives. Learn more at aces.edu. Want in-depth and up-to-date information about agriculture and forestry in Alabama? Then tune in to the Alabama AgCast, a production of the Alabama Farmers Federation. New Alabama AgCast episodes drop every Wednesday. Listen to learn about a range of topics, from farm programs and trade to animal nutrition and pest management. Just search for Alabama AgCast on your favorite podcast provider or visit alphafarmers.org slash Alabama dash AgCast. 